Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online, where we are playing the Warhammer 2C today, guys. I wanted to have some fun, and I wanted to play some missiles, and this mech is just unholy. It has five missile hardpoints, it's a clan mech, it's an 80-tonner, and as you can see, everything is super high mounted, we have a decent speed, and... We're running a lot of LRMs today. This thing is filled with 75 LRMs with Artemis. So five LRM-15 launchers and it is just glorious. You can hail down a massive rain of missiles and uh, it's, it's just a lot of fun to play, honestly. The challenge in this build here is not to get on the run because Although we are running a clan mech with clan missiles, we, we have kind of a minimum distance. So as soon as somebody is at 50, 50 meters or closer, you're not really dealing any damage anymore. So therefore, our challenge today is to stay within a range where we can actually do something, but also not stay too far away because we don't want our missiles to travel a million days to actually reach the enemy. So my idea is to stay within like four, 500 meters, try to not get hit by our enemies and uh, just deal so much damage. Cool thing about Artemis here is as soon as you have line of sight, and that's a thing that I want to provide here, the, the trajectory gets lower, that's a general thing for LRMs, and Artemis makes it so that the, the spread is tighter, which means um, less missiles will actually scatter around and kind of hit the ground or not hitting the mech at all, and it will more focus the center part of the mech, which is great because the time to kill is gonna be lower, and that's super, super handy. And yeah, that's basically it. Also, I think the missiles are also a bit more agile. They can follow a quick uh, movement uh, direction changes uh, a bit more uh, easily. We also have a tag here on the right arm to help us counter EC ECM at range and we have an active probe to counter ECM at close range. We are even running an AMS for countering enemy missiles and we run an XL engine 360 for a good 72.9 kph. The rest is ammunition and a bit of heat management. So you can basically fire those missiles continuously if you do it, um, quote unquote, the right way because firing more than two clan LRMs or ATMs simultaneously will result in a heat spike normal, uh, higher than normal. That's the thing, we have ghost heat here. However, you can fire four of them quite nicely because we have a good heat threshold here. So if you're only exposing yourself very briefly or you know that your enemies are gonna be in cover in like a second or two, Go for it, because um, sometimes you just want to get that big burst of damage out before it's too late to have it shot anyway. And, uh, you know, streams of missiles and chain fire uh, will be eaten up by AMS sometimes, and sometimes you gotta just bring the bulk of missiles and uh, have a good time with them. But in general, I would say go for group fire of two by two by one, and then um, have a good time with the heat management, because it's absolutely fantastic. Let me take a look at the skills here before we dive into the two games that are about to come here. As you can see, we have tilted our skills hard into the firepower tree here. We got all the green notes, which are all the missile notes, high explosive for more criticals, we got missile spread reduction, as well as missile rack for even more missiles for the late game. We also have velocity, which is kind of a priority here, because we want our missiles to fly fast so that our enemies don't have time to react when they get the missile warning. Therefore, velocity, one, two, as well as the one down here we could have also taken this one here but uh, i valued cooldown and heat management a little bit more than that one spot here uh, in terms of velocity we have no survivability skill here because we are a second liner anyway we shouldn't be on the front line therefore again trying to find a spot within the team is kind of my challenge today this is what um, i like about gameplay like that we have, however, maximum cool run as well as maximum heat containment on the operations tree, so we can shoot as often as possible. And then, as you can see here, we have um, rated deprivation. One, two, three, four, five, all of it. We have a seismic sensor, so we know if we are standing still, if any enemies are nearby, because we can then take a look at the minimap and there will be little pings around us. And, of course, we're going to take target decay, because target decay is uh, super handy. Also, um... A thing that would be also pretty handy would be this note here. Sensor range is a thing that you should consider when running LRMs. But I was saying I wanted to be at about 500, 400 meters anyway. So it's good for the early game, but later on it doesn't do so much for you anymore. Therefore, I was kind of skipping that thing here. And then we go for double cool shot, double UAV. I mean, it's a no-brainer. UAVs help you getting passive locks as well as uh, the heat management here. The extra heat management is sometimes, when you alpha strike a lot, it's sometimes handy. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. As always, if you have it, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And I mean, really, if you want to support me, click that subscribe button because I recently realized that only half of the people who are watching my videos are actually subscribers. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing, um, what are we playing? Polar Highlands, we are playing Assault. By the way, we are down a guy because he ran off the map. I don't know why. 
he suicided in the very beginning. Maybe he didn't like Polar Highlands. Maybe he was uh, <laughs> AFK and kind of his cat was uh, pressing the W button or whatever. Um, that is what we have to deal with. Also, oh, I wanted to say there's a disconnect, but he reconnected actually. So let's see what we can do. I mean, we are playing Polar Highlands. It's a very big and open map, which means that we might be we might be able to get things done on this one here. What we need is constant locks, like constant locks. Hello, yeah, Mr. Like Eagle. <laughs> Alright, got some damage in on the Vapor Eagle. It's an ATM Vapor Eagle. Alright, got it. Uh, it's too far away, a thousand meters. I cannot contest that. Nope. And uh, by the way, we have Hades on the enemy team. Uh, where is he? There he is. And he will probably coordinate a push against us because he likes aggressive playstyle. I know that guy. So, yeah, let's try to soften them up before they reach the front line. A little bit too early. I preemptively fire there. Oh, and this guy's having a bad time. Oh, yes. Oh, it is Vapor Eagle. Look at all the missiles that we are throwing at them. It's insane. We also have a Narc. Oh, holy shit. This poor guy. Oh, my God. A Rifleman Narc'd? Um, sure. Get the Rifleman Echo next. Echo, Echo, guys. I'm going to tag him. Oh, this is so unreal, guys. This is so unreal. Uh, and that's him. That's him down. This is just insane. Oh, my freaking God. Keep it up, guys, with the Narc's. Oh, shit. Holy shit. I should probably take the tech guy. Um, I'm on the grasshopper now, Charlie. Um, we're going to circle around them. They have not enough um, execution on the back. All right. Uh, somebody's tagging him. It is insane. I got him tagged. I'm on execution now. Uh, yeah, Delta it is. Oh, they have so much AMS, guys. We need to grind through it. I now know who picked Polar Highlands. I didn't, by the way. But, oh, this is so unreal. I'm the targets with ECM because they're blocking our knocks. Yeah. Ice Ferret, please. Ah, uh, get some damage, buddy. There is so oh, yeah. much happening right good. now. Holy crap. Let's get that guy. I have the Grasshopper Charlie tag, guys. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Uh, and that is it again. Oh, my freaking. This is just insane. Uh, Grasshopper is uh, now not... It's not really a big target anymore. There's a Nova with AMS. We need to take that guy down, Hotel. Um, if we can. I'm having a good time. Uh, Blackjack is narked. Golf. Uh, let's get the Nova Cat. Um, Nova Cat, yeah, let's go. Foxtrot. Holy shit. Uh, keep it up, guys. They still might have something to contest us. Um, there's a Hatamoto. Oh, uh, thanks for the knocks, man. You are a hero. Hatamoto yeah. is now Kilo. Give him hell, guys. <gasps> Holy shit! This is unreal! Having a knock Raven in this team is just so good! And all of the LRMs in the world execute- I'm having the time of my life, guys. I'm- I'm- I'm happy. I'm a very happy Baradul. I am just throwing missiles left and right. Um, Nova is next. Let's go. And I don't even care about the heat at this point. Let's keep going. <laughs> Seven and one. Those guys must feel so bad. I'm really sorry for them. I am so sorry, guys. But what can I say? Sometimes you just gotta pack your guilty pleasure and, and just have a good time. Oh, boy. Complete domination here. Uh-huh. Uh, on the Kid Fox, I guess. Um. Uh, I mean, just wrap it up, right? That's That's a kill. Um, next up is the other Kid Fox. AMS is down completely, and that is so good. Holy crap! <laughs> that was so insane! What's the terrible death for Kid Fox to die from LRMs? Oh my freaking god, dude. <laughs> Alright, we didn't even deal so much damage. I mean, they had so much AMS there. But still, four killing blows, seven assists, four kill most damage dealt. I mean, 800 damage is a lot, but not for a missile build like that. It can easily break, break easily break a thousand, twelve hundred. Um, but yeah, that, that's the first round. Let's take a look at the other guys. I mean, we, we had another Warhammer Mark II there. Yeah. Oh, freaking hell. That was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, second game of the day. We are playing Domination on the Thermal Ein Desert. Where are we, by the way? We are in Alpha Lands. That is not good. Enemies will be coming from this area quite quickly. And we need to get out of here. So let's take a look around. We gotta keep a keen eye on the horizon because, again, there might be somebody trying to push us very quickly. And then we need to be able to retaliate. E6. E6, you say? That's good to know. There was a PPC 
tree that I saw flying there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But it seems like... Oh, yeah. I wanted to say it seems like nobody's here, but uh, they are a little bit too early with the shot. Uh, and we dealt a tiny bit of damage. That's okay. Again, I just wanted to push him back, giving him the missile warning. It's, it's not really that I wanted to stay there and deal damage. It was about... It was about defense more than offense. Um, okay. You don't want to get any further? Alrighty. Let's, um, give that... Mm, give that dude a bit more hell. Alright, Rifleman, let's go. One, two, three! A little bit of chain fire here because this map is pretty hot. And I don't want to get overheated. I want to keep my heat reserves for later. That's important here. Therefore, uh, I'm going to go with the group fire of 2x2 uh, two two and then one LRM-15. Um, nobody there. There's an assault mech that we can hit. Oh god, this poor dire wolf. Yeah, give him hell, guys. He is just alone. Just kill him. That is... Oh, it's, it feels bad. It feels really bad. I have been there multiple times in that spot. Being not able to go anywhere because... Reasons. Mess. Look at that. Okay. There was a lot of AMS kind of destroying my missiles while I was shooting at the Direwolf there. Um, but I will not stop shooting at this point. Alright, so here we go. Um, there's a Corsair 7A. Yeah, AMS. That's what I figured. Lots of AMS today. Alright. Uh, let's get those guys. Uh, maybe I should have shot Dumpfire here at this point. Um, the yeah, I mean, it's, it's a dire wolf. Come on, kill him. Ooh, I found the, uh, okay. I'm just gonna go for it now, helping out a bit so that they die quicker. Okay, it's not working anymore. Let's get the... Corsair yeah, is not a good target for me. Somebody else should take him. Because, you know, the AMS and enemies are already behind us. Uh, yeah, let's defend here. Let's defend uh, Charlie 4. 5, 6, e Echo, you know. The bang! You see where the enemies are? Hello? Quick alpha strike, because we didn't really have time. Mm -mm. All right, this is not really working. I got him tagged. That's perfect. And somebody is shooting me. Big time, actually. But I still want to stay on the mad dog, and we should really pop that cool shot now. Because right now, he's a good target, and I want him dead, or at the very least so crippled, that he cannot really shoot anything at, at all anymore. Oh, I get it. Lots of mur Okay, okay, okay. Lots of missiles here. That was the mad cat that hit me earlier, right? Uh, we're gonna give him some hell in return. Uh, wait, where did the Corsair go? Just hold it here, guys. Hold it here. Mm, tagging, shooting, hopefully getting some damage in. I want to keep him tagged. That rifleman needs to go, guys. Delta. Mm -hmm. Gauss coming in. Uh, but the angle is good right now. Good-ish. Right. Got that guy. Look, come on. What's shooting me? I cannot see. Um, but I'm super focused. I need to stay focused on the Stalker there in order to get some damage in for my team and help them out. And you can see my missiles are getting completely eaten up by the Corsair, which is also standing right next to him. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. That Mad Cat has to go. Let's check it out. Can deal a bit of damage. Okay. Bushwaka coming in. Very brief exposure time. Gotta go Alpha Strike here. Uh, and that's good. So... Five and two. Man, finding my spot here is hard. Uh, but that's the challenge, guys. And that's what I love about it. So, did the Corsair go down? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they did. What about that guy? It's gonna hit me, huh? And again, a shot from a Gauss rifle. Ugh, turning around. What? What? Oh, hello, sir. I'm gonna pop a UAV here. Nine, That's a sun spider. So, you shoot me in the back, I'm gonna shoot you in the back in return. Alright, try to hit me. Try it. Don't do it. Just try it. <laughs> Alright, we got him in the end. Wow. Crazy game. It was the sun spider all along. That's crazy. So, they have a shadow cat down here. Let's try to tag him. Try to kill him while he is midair. Oh, the, those are the most beautiful ones. So, one enemy alive. Where is he? What is he? And why is he not in the circle? Um, it is uh, somebody that is not in the circle. Absolutely not, because the timer is ticking down. in the circle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, man. Just gonna go left and you go right. Fine. Now, let's uh, try to figure out where he is. Maybe he's not even here. Maybe he's AFK or something. Um, Maybe he's trying to preserve his kill-death ratio. Maybe... He's trying to snatch a kill from the outskirts, but no, he's not. Oh, wait, there he is! Oh, found him! 
It's a Rifleman. It's the Rifleman. Come on, Alpha Strike! Actually, we have one second on the timer. Who's gonna get it? Somebody else. I was <coughs> half a second too early with the shot. My missiles were not locked on. But anyway, guys, that is the game. Let's take a look at the end score here. We are down to 84 missiles. We basically used all of them. And uh, I want to see what we did. There was a lot of missiles kind of uh, shot to terrain. But that's kind of what it is. Therefore, you have a lot of missiles in stock. A lot of ammunition carried. So that you can just shoot. And when the enemies get to cover, then so be it. We got one killing blow. We got 8 assists, 3 KMDDs, 855 damage done, 200 taken. With uh, 6 components destroyed. That was uh, the daily dose for today, everybody. That was the unholy missile warmer to see if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i mean it guys it's really for free um you don't have to do anything but click that little button click the bell it really would help me out as a content creator and i hope to see you guys next time goodbye